This is going to be called Our Views of Female Sport. Our Views of Female Sport. Now, let's take some, let's take, let's compare a man and a female, right? A man makes a hundred, let's say he makes, let's say he makes on average 10,000 a day, right? But you don't see how he makes it. Like, because most, like, somebody, somebody, somebody that jumps on YouTube or TikTok or even Facebook or anywhere, like, the first thing they're going to look at is how many views am I getting, right? But it's not about the views, it's not about the views. It's about the engagement, right? It's, it's really about the engagement. Now, this might sound simple to like digital marketing people because engagement is like, it's a metric, right? It's a metric. We talk about CPA, CTR, CPV. Whatever you want to call it, whatever metric you can throw in, but when I when engagement is deeper than a metric, like if you if you boil it down to a metric, we're just talking about just how much money is being made. Like that's the money side of things, the number side of things, right? With the data, but an engagement is a human interaction at the end of the day. So a view is like, it's a female sport almost, unless a man is selling something. Like a woman can, that's why you think so many women nowadays are monetized. Because they're walking views. They're, they're literally walking views. Like if you if a girl just <laughs> a girl can intentionally walk by a camera and be like, oh that's that's fine. Like look at YouTube shorts. Like a girl can be on a scooter and that shit'll get like a million views because she's she's scootering to the side and her butt is showing and she's wearing some pink pants because she's 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 skating on a driveway and the pink highlights the gray. So now they're gonna look at her butt from the side. Boom, a million views because it popped up on shorts, right? YouTube shorts. Boom, a million views. But what came from that? Absolutely nothing. YouTube made money. (laughs) She probably don't even know she's viral. Ain't that crazy? Like, that's crazy. That's a million views. But that's through, that's like, that's just the power of YouTube. Like, that's the power of metrics too. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a female sport almost. Unless a man is just pumping out content. Like, you're pumping out, pumping out, pumping out, pumping out. You're pumping out content, pumping out, pumping out. Like, you take like a Ty Lopez who kind of like took advantage of that. Like, he's just, he was like, fuck. Fuck the courses I'm giving you. I'm giving you some courses. But, like, there, it's pretty much like 10 or 12 videos of people teaching. But that's the package that he's giving you. But he's saying, he's saying fuck it, I'm going to put a Lamborghini and I'm going to go wide, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, like, 30 minutes of me driving in a Lamborghini and teaching you some random shit about Thomas Jefferson and some random names and then come buy my product. And then people call him a scammer because it's not good stuff. It's like, no, he's not a scammer. That's not a scammer. That's just somebody who sold you something that you didn't want to learn on your own. <laughs> That's it. Because Ty Lopez isn't a specialist at anything. He's a marketer. Right? That's a man, right? A, a woman could do the same thing. A woman could be like, Call that shit twerk digital marketing and be like, oh, buy, I do Facebook ads, Google ads, 
and she called it twerk digital marketing. And it's like, and she makes YouTube, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. But she sells courses about how to do Facebook ads and Google ads. But she's bringing you in with twerking. And then you get it and then you buy it. And it's like, she's twerking to a chalkboard talking about this is how you do Facebook ads. Is that a scam? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you the one who fell for that. You 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 bought twerk digital marketing. You bought that. Like, so she's on she's on camera with some shorts, and she's telling you, oh, this is the CTR, this is the CPA, this is the CPV. I learned from Cardi B, and I learned from Nicki Minaj. This is twerk marketing, digital marketing. You bought that. <laughs> you you the one that bought that. She she gave you what you bought. What you what 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 she presented to you. That's what you bought. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So Ty Lopez is like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in some Lamborghinis. I'm gonna go outside on the pool. I'm gonna rent a million dollar mansion, and I'm gonna teach you about digital marketing, right? And then I'm gonna give you some guys who really do that stuff. Like me, and you be like, "Oh, I'm a, let's pay him fifty thousand, and he's gonna teach you how to do Facebook, and then he's gonna hire me, and then he's gonna sell me to you." That's not a scam. Like you, you pay for Facebook ads. You didn't pay for sales. You pay for a course. That's why I'm not big. Like you should. That's why you should never buy a course. From a generalist, like you should buy. Well, even well, I just look back on Ty Lopez. Like he gave you Joe Soto. He gave you some good guys to learn from. Like he wasn't a scammer. Like even I bought the social media. This was in like social media marketing agency. Like, <laughs> like I see that now. I I think I seen an ad for that. Like SMMA social. Remember when that was like the cool thing? Social media marketing agency. Like, what the fuck is that? I've looked back on it, like, now that I'm, like, a professional. And I look back on it, and it's like, don't start a fucking social media marketing agency. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is a social media marketing agency? So I guess it's like, you're, you're posting content on Facebook, and you're, like, what is that? That's not, that's nothing. Like... Honestly, you could say, I'm not going to say you can sell without social media, but you need ads. You need ads and you need a sales team. Like, you could sell, you could sell products without Instagram. Like, you could, live, you could sell a lot of shit without Instagram. And I sell on Instagram. But you could sell a lot of shit without Instagram. You could sell, you could sell without Facebook ads and Google ads. And you can sell without SEO. You could sell without SEO and without Google Ads and without Facebook. Like, that's a supplementation. That's a supplementation. But, I mean, you want it because it's it's literally like, I'm not saying it's printing money. But if you know what you're doing, you're pretty much printing money. Like, you're not printing money. If you got good guys, you're pretty much like you're making money. I'm going to say you're making money. But you don't need, like, a marketing. Well, I guess it's, it is a good sale, though. So, yes, Ty Lopez is not a scammer. I'm just thinking back in the days. So, this this is called female, Views is a female sport. So, yeah, so Views is a female sport. So, yeah, let's, yeah Ty Lopez. I just think about, like, the Ty Lopez when I, when I was just getting into digital marketing. But it wasn't Ty. Ty Lopez was, like, in digital marketing, buying a course from Ty Lopez, it's like it's like if you went to college, right? And it's like your first teacher. And then after you get your first teacher, you gotta go home and you gotta do your homework. But you call you're mad at the teacher because you didn't you didn't learn on your own. You weren't autodidactic, right? You you didn't go home and learn more than the person who went home and learned. So you go to school and the guy who went home and learned, he's better than you. And the teacher likes him because he learned on his own. 
So you call him a scammer because you didn't learn on your own. Like, no, that's not a scammer. Like you didn't you didn't learn as much as you should have. Because there's you know how many people teach Google AdWords? You know how many people teach Facebook? Like, there's all kind of people. Like, I learned, I forgot the guy, Isaac Rudumski or something. That's who I learned AdWords from on Udemy. Like, I spent like like 200, 300, 300 bucks on Udemy. I remember, like, I was literally in my room all day, like, almost six or seven hours. Like, I would, I would take, I would look at the screen, and I would rip the audio from Google AdWords, put that shit in my phone, and just, like, put it in my ears, and just play that shit over and over and over. Like, even if I didn't want to hear it, like, I would brush my teeth listening to it. I would, like, take a shit listening to it. Like, I would train my brain. All day, even when it's don't want to be trained. So I've just listened to that shit all day, all day, all day. Next day, you know, I took a AdWords test and then boom, I passed it. And then boom, I was able to run ad campaigns and I knew keywords. But like, that's just not enough. You have to, you have to actually start a store. Like you have to, you have to put that shit in practice and generate profits. And learn how to fulfill orders. Then you say, okay, now that this how that shit work. But like, that's views is a female sport. Like, it, it really is because you can sell a lot. Like, I've sold shit on Instagram with two views. Like, I've show, I've sold tables with like two views. Like, it's people who sell Pokemon cards all day on Instagram. And that shit, like, they they not getting views. They just have a community of people. So they're already niche. So they don't need a lot of views. They don't need a lot of views. Like, let's say you're selling, you're selling a high-ticket table. Like, let's say you're selling a glass table that's like 10 grand. Like, all you need is like 10 fucking views of people who like. You need like... You know, like 20 or 30 people who like fucking glass tables. And then boom, you just saw the, they like, oh, I like that table. How much is it? And now they got the Instagram chat. So you can be like, oh, it's 10,000. Here's three more. Which one do you like? Oh, yeah, I like the silver one, but I like the wooden one too. How much is both? Oh, I could give you both for 18,000. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. They request the payment and then you, then, then you pay. You see, like... <laughs> In comparison to a female who's on there, oh my god, uh, this is that, uh, this is this, uh, yeah, yeah. You can't pay my bills, blah blah blah. I got a hundred million views on a twerk video, but you didn't make no money. <laughs> like, you see what I'm saying? Like, don't think views. Like, when you start in a store, don't think about the views. That's the last thing you should think about. Think about what works and think about what people want first. That's the first thing you should think about. Like, And also, like, if you get good at marketing, you can create demand. Like, you can create demand with a Blue Ocean strategy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about that book. That book deserves its own episode. I think that's what I'm going to do on my next episode. That book, that's book, I'm going to put that book, like, probably... When it comes to marketing, right, in business, that book has to be, like, top five. That Blue Ocean Strategy is the probably top five book that nobody talks about. Blue Ocean Strategy. That's the book that nobody talks about. And it's one of the best. <laughs>